everyone, it's Lisa. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share my craft space with you and bring you on a tour of my craft room. I've been asked on several occasions to do a craft room tour, so here it is. I will show you how I organize many of my crafting items, such as my cardstock, my stamps, my dies, and different card making tools. And of course, if you have any questions at all, please leave them down below and I'll answer them. But before I get started, if you are new to my channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button and turn on your bell notifications so that you can be notified every time I release a new video. So let's go ahead and get started. So as you enter my craft room from the door, this is the view that you see. So I have my large craft table in the middle and then my I have work area all around. And I do wanna mention that I do share this space with my husband. I have this craft table here in the center. And this furniture is from Pottery Barn and it's the Bedford collection in case you're interested. But I will say that Ikea is a much less expensive option if you're looking for a craft table such as this. I have cubby holes on each side of the table and I'll show you the other side in just a minute that have nine cubby holes that I can store my stamps, my dies, and different craft things in them. And then I have stools on each side, so I have one here and one on the other side. And just a quick overview, just so you can see, again, this is the view from the door. I do have a desk that wraps around against the wall, and then this space over here is my husband's space. So we have another table and then a little filing cabinet with a printer and then the computer. And then I have some wall decorations, which that's brand new. I'm still putting some stuff up there. So I have some pictures of my kids up there. And then as I walk around to my space, this is the desk that I work at. And here on top is my setup for my camera. And I have a pegboard. The pegboard there is from Ikea with all the little compartments there. And then when we turn this way, this is the desk from the opposite side with another stool. And I have my die cutting machine on my desk as well as my paper trimmer. And then if we continue to walk across this way, I have another shelving unit. Now this shelving unit is the Calyx unit from Ikea. This is the eight bin unit and it has two rows with eight bins and I just put this up against the wall because I needed some more storage space. And then I have a little board here at the top, which I have some cards that I just love that I just want to put there for decoration. And then on the opposite side over here is more storage. Now, if you like this centerpiece, I will say that you can actually go to Ikea for pretty inexpensive and get this Calyx unit. You can get make this Calyx unit something similar to a centerpiece by getting a couple of the Calyx units for the sides. So you'd get one on this side and one on the other side and then get a tabletop to go across. And you can get something a look very similar to this using the Calyx unit from Ikea. So this, per, this furniture, as I mentioned, it is from Pottery Barn. It's a little bit more pricey if you're in the market for, for that. I definitely can link that below, but I just wanted to let you know other options using the Calyx unit. And these Calyx units, they actually come in different sizes. They have ones that are just four bins and they have even larger ones than this. So I will link those down below in the description box as well. So there's my closet and I'm gonna go ahead and open that up because I have another cal two Calyx units inside where I have a bunch of storage. But before I open that up, I just wanna just give you a view of the room from this angle. So I'm gonna go ahead and go over to the closet and we'll open that up. So here's a view of the closet and you can see it does have two of the Calyx units. They are standing up tall. So over here where I showed you this one, it's the same exact unit, only it's on its side, whereas the ones in the closet are standing up vertically. And you can see from the bottom there all the way to the top, and I have lots and lots of storage. And then above that, those are just shelves in my closet that I have stored a bunch of different craft items and office supply items as well. 
So in this cubby, I have my specialty paper, I have my Bristol Smooth cardstock, some watercolor paper, I have some 12 by 12 cardstock sheets, as well as some more um, papers over here. Now I do want to mention that this bin right here, it does hold 12 by 12 papers, and this I purchased at the container store, and it was pretty cheap. It was probably about $3.99, so I will see if I can find that and link that below, but it does hold your... Um, large 12 by 12 papers it's very convenient and then this bin next to it this has my eight and a half by 11 cardstock and i have these storage bins that store my eight and a half by 11 cardstock these i picked up from target uh, probably about a year and a half or so ago and then i have all my cardstock colors these are eight and a half by 11 sheets of various cardstock colors and i also have some folders with some glitter paper in here and some of my black and white cardstock now all of this cardstock this is just random cardstock that i picked up at craft stores this is not my stamps of life cardstock so many of you do know that i'm on the stamps of life design team and i have a lot of their products and all of their cardstock and i have that cardstock stored another place in my craft room which i will show you where that is soon so next to that i have my stamps of life stamps and dies organized in these bins these bins are actually refrigerator bins i think this one i purchased uh, at Bed Bath & Beyond, and then this one I purchased at Amazon. They're very similar, the only difference is this one has like a little pull handle here, and this one just has a handle that you actually can put your hand in here. But I do organize them by category, so for example, here is the category of animals, so all my animal stamps are behind here, and I do store these in some plastic sleeves, so you can see that it is in a plastic sleeve, and if it has a die, the die is also in there. So really quick, let me just find one. Here's a good example. So, so I have the stamp in the front, and I do have it labeled with the name of the stamp. And then on the back, on a magnetic sheet, I have the dies that match. And then if there are any loose, um, here's a sentiment, or any loose die cuts from that stamp, I will store them in the same envelope. And then any of my extra envelopes I have here on the side. So real quick, I just wanna show you the stamp pockets that I use are the Avery L stamp pocket. I also have some of the Totally Tiffany stamp pockets with the magnetic sheets inside, and I have used some of these in this set as well. So moving down here, I have some dies and stamps stored in some binders, as well as some coloring books. And then here I have a couple of these drawers. Now these, when you purchase these IKEA units, you can actually configure this any way you want. So with this unit, I decided to get the double drawers and I have two sets of double drawers in this unit. So in this set of drawers, I have, this is all of my glitter and it's some Nuvo paste, embellishment paste. Um, I have some, a lot of mixed media stuff is in here. So I have glitter, embossing powder, and things like that. And then in this drawer, it has all of my adhesives. So I have my score tape, I have that. I have my adhesive sheets from the Stamps of Life. I have some foam. These are just some extra foam pieces that I've made some shaker bits or some shaker cards with that I kept because I can definitely use these on my cards. And then in this drawer, I have um, more adhesives. So I have a bunch of glue dots and some adhesive rollers. And then I also store my album rings as well as my magnets. So if I ever make an album, I have all that in this drawer. And then in this drawer, more adhesives and I have some of the, my Tombow Aqua glue. Some of these adhesives I don't get around to as often. I do have some Mod Podge stored in here, and then my favorite glue of all is my Art Glitter Glue. I just have some extra in that drawer. And then moving over here, this piece, it's a separate edition that Ikea sells, which I really love because when you're looking at how large this square is, you can actually make room, for, instead of piling everything on top, you can actually add this basket. And in this basket, I have a binder. This is a lot of embellishments that I have in this cubby hole. So in this binder, it's a totally Tiffany binder, and I don't recall the name of it off the top of my head, but you can see I do have a lot of my Stamps of Life embellishments in here, 
And I always like to separate my Stamps of Life embellishments from just regular um, craft store embellishments because being on their design team, I like to just keep everything separate. That way when I'm designing cards, I can go right to my Stamps of Life um, binder and I know what product is theirs that I can use on those cards. So I have stickers, and I have chipboard pieces, and it's all stored in this Totally Tiffany binder. So I just keep that right on this shelf. And then here I have the Totally Tiffany Stephanie bag. In this Totally Tiffany bag, I have all my smaller embellishments from the Stamps of Life that I store in here. So this has all of my, there's some shaker pieces, there's some buttons, and then it goes on to some of the epoxy dots and some of the pearls. So a lot of the epoxy dots and little small embellishments I store in here. And again, these are all my Stamps of Life links so that when I'm designing a card, for the Stamps of Life, I know that I can just reach for this bag and I can quickly find it. And this is the Stephanie bag and that is from the Stamps of Life. Now, Stephanie, she actually shows using this bag to store ink pads. So the Stamps of Life ink pads also fit perfectly in this bag. So on the shelf, I have another Totally Tiffany bag, a Sue Buddy bag. And more Stamps of Life embellishments that are stored in this bag. So a lot of these are my fabric embellishments that I put in here. So like, and then also the felt embellishments. So a lot of the flowers are in here. More flowers, flowers, bows, and I keep them all here. And then there's some chipboard pieces. And then just right here on the bottom, I have this binder. And this binder is actually a binder from Queen and Company. And I picked this up when I was at a Scrapbook Expo convention. And what I like about this is this has some pages that you can put in here. And I have other embellishments. These are not Stamps of Life embellishments. So I just keep them separately. And I just organize them by color and just store them in these little bins. Everything just fits back nicely on this shelf. So in this bin, I have another one of these little shelf pieces. And in here, I just store my little Cricut mini press, as well as I have another Tiffany bag that has a foil quill inside and all of these um, pieces. And then I have this bin. It just has some extra dies in here. And then I have this totally Tiffany box. And this just has my layering pieces. So my layering dies that I have in different envelopes and all labeled. So for example, I have my stitched circles and my non-stitched circles, so my circle dies, my rectangle dies, my dotted hearts, my dotted tags. Okay, I also have some of the stars. So all of those nesting dies are all stored together in here. And some of them I have in these Stamps of Life envelopes and any extra pieces that I die cut and don't use, I also store within here. And then some of these I'm using the Totally Tiffany pockets, the die pockets that have the magnetic um, inserts. So like with these dotted squares, this is a magnet inside of the pocket. So I kind of mix it up. I have some of the Totally Tiffany pockets and then some of the Stamps of Life and they all fit nicely in this little file. And then over here, these are just large um, square bins that fit perfectly. These are also from Ikea and I just have a bunch of craft supplies in there. I'm not even gonna open that. And then all of this is just some more storage and then down below, I have some more storage and some card making kits down here. And then in this bin, I have all of my large tools. So I have my label maker, I have my scoring board, I have my heat tool, as well as my hot glue gun is buried in there. So a lot of my tools I just store in here because they're large and these bins are large and they fit perfectly in there. And then up towards the top, I have these shelves that are organized with a lot of these bins from the craft store. And you can see a lot of it is stored in just these plastic bins just so that I can see what I have easily. So I have a, a lot of my Christmas papers and different things. I have some more bling stored in here. I have some stickers and some 
glitter scraps that I have in here. And then these are all just regular cardstock scraps that I keep, which honestly, I don't even know why I keep this stuff. I did go through it the other day, but I probably should just get rid of a lot of it. But notice that I did put all of my neutral scraps, like my whites and my blacks and my browns, I keep in one bin and then all my colors in another bin. Because sometimes if I'm just trying to do a sentiment, and I need a piece of white paper to stamp it on, I just pull from a scrap and I do that there. I do have a bin over here of different photo props for flowers, and then I have a bin here with all of my paints. And then I have some bins up towards the top that have some of my 12 by 12 paper, and I'll get to that bin in a minute. I have one with hole punches and some ribbon, so this ribbon bin is just something that I picked up at Michael's and it doesn't hold all of my ribbon, but it does hold some. So I do store some ribbon in here. In this large bin, this is where I keep a lot of my additional embellishments. I have a lot of shaker pieces in here and a lot of this stuff is organized by color. So for example, a lot of my purple embellishments I just put in here. So I have some buttons. You can see some buttons in here. There's some flowers. A lot of that stuff is just stored in here under purple. I guess I have a little bit of blue in there as well. And then in this bin, it's all, a lot of the white. So there's some flowers. There's some sequins, which I actually am, I have on order, which I'm getting, I think on Wednesday, I have a bin that I'm, purchased from scrapbook.com to organize a lot of my shaker bits. So I'm really looking forward to getting that. And then I have a lot of my shaker bits in here. So these aren't obviously organized by color. It's just a lot of different shaker bits that are in here. And again, I'm looking forward to getting that, that um, storage bin that I purchased to organize this a little bit better. So up here I have some Totally Tiffany storage envelopes and these envelopes or storage boxes so to say, I've recently purchased them and I did a video on these which I will also link down below and you can see that I just put what ha what's inside so I have glitter, I have some ribbon, I have some distressing tools and some Halloween stuff in here. So for example, I'm just gonna take one of these down. And you can see just by looking at it, it has a lot of my glitter. So the glitter is actually stored upside down so you can see the color. And you can pull these trays out and you can take out what you need. This one, I have more ribbon. Now these boxes or these storage boxes, I don't remember what the names of them are. And I did purchase these on HSN, but I did hear that Stephanie is going to be selling these at the Stamps of Life soon. I don't know when, but she will be selling some of these soon. So just stay tuned this for This one, I have a lot of my distress tools, which I don't even use a lot of this stuff. But so I figure I have it, I might as well organize it a little bit better so when I do need it, I can come find what I'm looking then for. Then up here at the top, this bin right here, that just has some Christmas clear ornaments in it because I like to make Christmas ornaments with glitter every year and I store a lot of my Christmas ornaments in there that are the clear ones. And then this bin here, that has some cards in it as well as these two bins here, they have finished cards. So if I ever need a finished card, I can go to those bins. And then over here, I have some Christmas stuff. So that is a Christmas box that you can see right there. So I do store my Christmas um, stuff in here and I have some Christmas ribbon up towards the top. This unit over here, this is pretty new. I just got this unit. This is another of the Ikea Calyx units. I just got this about a week or two ago because they just needed a little bit more storage. So I just put a little bit of decoration, some things that I like to look at just to make it look pretty. I have some albums that I put on here that I love. Obviously pictures of my kids. And then I have one of my die cut machines there. And then right above it, I have some cards that I love to look at. And then down below, this has some storage not all of it's filled up so down here I just have some um, kits so some card kits down here that I use sometimes I also have this one here this bin here that has some extra pads for my um, die cut machine as well as some boxes here that just have some extra card layers that if I ever need a quick card I can just go in there and um, you know pull out 
you know, some things that have been colored or die cut or some layers that have already been started. I do have another one of these boxes. This has some embossing folders in it. And then this unit here, this has some more of those binders from Queen and Company. And I do store my stamp sentiments. I have these labeled as well as some word dies in here. For example, in this binder, I have these sleeves and these stamp sets from the Stamps of Life. What are these? Four by six. I'm not even sure the size. These fit perfectly in these storage um, pages. So all sentiment stamps I have in here, and if I get too many of them, I will have to convert them to the closet storage like you saw with the envelopes just a few minutes ago. So all of my sentiments are stored in here. It just makes it easier so when I need a sentiment, I can quickly come to this binder and find what I'm looking for. This binder, I have all of my word dies and I'm going to, I just haven't had time to die cut each one of these dies and then put it on these little pockets just so you can see what it looks like. But most of them say what they are, so thanks so much. This one I actually die cut. This one has what it looks like on the front. This one tells me that it's the word fabulous, special friend, there's a die cut. So I'm going to make this consistent here in the near future and just make sure that all of these word dies have the die cuts on the front. Um, but these little dies, they actually fit inside these. This is the same type of pocket that I had the embellishment binder. And this is also from Queen and Company and these just fit perfectly right in these little pages. These bins down below are where I store all of my cardstock. So this is my Stamps of Life cardstock. So I store it in here, but I also store in here some of my foam, also my Spectrum Noir Ultra Smooth cardstock, which is what I use for my alcohol marker coloring. And then I also store some of my chipboard in here. When I make some albums, I put that in there as well. So these are actually, um, categorized by color and then any of my bits of paper that are my scraps that I have in this color I store also in here so these envelopes have the actual cardstock sheets as well as any scraps for when I need that specific color I go to that um, envelope now this is what the envelopes look like these envelopes I actually purchased for really cheap at Office Depot a couple years ago, and I just label them Stamps of Life Guava 80 pounds, so that tells me what the color is and what the weight is, not that I even use that because I know all these colors by heart now. Now you can also use these Stamps of Life storage envelopes, and these you get with the card kits, but they also sell these on their website, and these would work as well for storing your cardstock. So this bin as well has more of the cardstock from the Stamps of Life, it's all organized in these envelopes and it's all by color and right above that is where I have all of my inks so I store all of my inks in these totally Tiffany storage containers and I have all of my inks in here and they're all labeled with the color on them so when I need an ink I just pull out these storage containers and I bring them over to my desk now this is the Katya bag and as I said earlier you can also use the Stephanie bag to store your inks. So again all of my inks are here. I actually have two of those Katya bags for um, uh, two sets of two bags full of ink pads and then I also have these little bags for my refillable inks and I'm not sure. Let's see. Oh, that's the Irene because I have two of these. So this is the Irene bag and this holds all of my ink refills. And then this binder is all of my pads for my blending brushes and I have them all labeled. So I have these little sheets that I cut up and they're in these little pockets and I did label them with what color this is. So each one of my ink pads has its separate um, piece that I use when I do ink blending and these are stored just in these plastic sleeves. Now I cannot, I think they sell these on Amazon, but I actually purchased these when my kids when my boys were collecting those Pokemon cards and my son said I don't want these anymore so I'm like well you're not gonna throw them away so I decided I would put them to good use and I have all of my um, little um, toppers there for my blending brushes and what I did when I uh, created these is I just put some velcro 
just put the Velcro on the back on the um, paper and then it just sticks right to it. And then there's a whole bunch in here. Look at this. There's so many in here. I'll never use all of these, but I didn't want to get rid of them because these eventually they'll get all worn. I've had these in here for probably about a year now and they do get colored obviously on the bag but I have plenty of extra here if I need. Now what I can do is I can look on Amazon and see if I can find any that are similar to this and I can link those down below. So here's the island that's in the middle of my craft room and on one side it has these bins. So I do have some Spectrum Noir markers which I put in these bins because I don't use them as often. So I did have them on my table but I decided let me just go ahead and put them in the bins. That way they're there, they look pretty and if I do need them I can go to them. And then down here, these are some of my Arteza products. So I have my watercolor uh, medium, so my watercolor pencils, my watercolor real brush pens, and my Zig real brush pens, they're all in this one. And then this one is my colored pencils, and then I have my Everblend markers here. And then in this bin, I have just some extra um, paper pads. These are various company, just paper pads, six by six, six by six paper pads that I store in here. I also have some storage here and then this is just kind of an empty bin i do use this sometimes when i have products that are design team products that i'm finished with i will store them in here and then i have some albums that um, have yet to be created down at the bottom and then i just have some cards down below that have been created and this side i use the most often this has a lot of my dyes and some stamps of life paper pads a lot of my stamps of life stuff actually is over here on this side so these bins really quick these bins are just gray and these are from ikea and i'll see if i can find those they fit perfectly in here as well as in the calyx unit and these are all of like my card base dies from the Stamps of Life, and I have them organized in these medium-sized envelopes, and everything is labeled. And inside here, all of these dies are on a magnetic sheet. These magnetic sheets are the Totally Tiffany magnetic sheets, and I just store them on here. Now, not all of them are on dies. Some of them are just kind of in the envelope, but the envelope keeps everything together. So. You can see a lot of these are card bases, some flip -its, some stand-up card bases, scalloped card bases, on and on and on. So here are those and they fit perfectly in this box. And then moving on to this second one, this bin, this is just a box I picked up I think from Target, this Room Essentials brand. And then this has all of my folded dies. These are the shaped dies. Um, that make your shaped cards. And these are all in those stamp pockets from Avery L. And they're on the Totally Tiffany magnetic sheets. And they're all labeled and they are in alphabetical order. So all of my folded are stored in here. They do fit perfectly. And then I just have some planner accessories here. This one has all of my Stamps of Life paper pads. I just love their paper pads. I keep them separate from all of my others and I just store them in this bin. So all of them are here, and I also have some more towards the bottom as well. So more pads down here, and then more pads down here. So some of these that are stored in these little file boxes from Totally Tiffany, these pads have not been used, or they're duplicates of ones that I already have up in these bins. So these are ones that I always go to first because they've been used, and if I have a paper pad that I'm looking for and I know I have an extra, I'll come down here and I will go ahead and find one of my brand new ones and take them out of this stash. So over here in the middle, these are my larger dies. So like a lot of my slimline card dies will fit in these larger envelopes. So like this is my, oh, this is my A2 envelope die from the Stamps of Life and the liner inserts that will fit perfectly in there. The triangle box is a larger die. Um, and then some of the slimline card dies are in here as well. And then this bin is just a lot of dies that are just smaller, like for example, border dies or maybe some alphabet dies are in here just some miscellaneous dies down yeah. here's the bottom i have this bin which has a lot of my envelopes so various size envelopes 
as well as some card bases. So I do store all that down there. Moving over here to my workstation, I do have my Fiskars mat. This is where I do my filming and this is where I do a lot of my card making. So here is where, this is my whole contraption that I use. The camera will actually hang off of this and film downward. And then I have my Ot light. I have two of those here and those just give me more light when I'm working. And then I also have the window, which sometimes I open just to give me some extra light. And then just moving right along, there's a picture of me and my dad. My dad passed away a couple years ago. So and I always love to leave this picture here so that it's close to me while I'm working. And then I have my washi tape here on my desk. So if I need it quickly to use it, I can grab that from there. And then I have this little rolling um, organizer. This is from Pottery Barn as well. It actually matches the collection of the furniture and I just store some random things like some rollers or some glue refill. Not much of anything in there, but I like having it. Let's go ahead and go to the drawer here at my desk. This is the top drawer and I store a lot of my inks, ink um, stuff that I go to almost all the time. So I have my acrylic blocks that are stored in here. I also have extras of these foam pieces foam for the ends of these brushes when I do my ink blending. I have some extra inks over here. So like my alcohol inks that I use frequently. And then I also just have some extra paper that I put in here. That is my alcohol marker paper. And then obviously my these are my stamp cleaners and then just some extra inks towards the back. So this is all about um, stamping in that drawer. In this drawer here, this just has some of my foam adhesive that I go to when I'm working. A lot of the stuff that's here in the drawer is duplicates of things that are in the closet. Like I have some glue dots, which I had a bunch in the closet, which these are, you know, if I ever run low on these, I'll just replace them with one from the closet and just extra foam pieces. I have a little small die cutting machine as well as the pads for that in here. And then this bottom drawer down here, this has all of my Copic markers and they're all category categorized according to the number. And then they're just stored in these bins and then I didn't have an extra bin so I just stored all the extra ones down here. Move across to the other side. This drawer has a lot of my ribbon. This is actually all of my Stamps of Life ribbon. So when I'm designing, I can quickly pull from here. I do have some twine here as well. And this is in, the twine is actually stored in one of these Tiffany bags, but it's not closed. The actual side, the top of the Tiffany bag is tucked behind and it's just an easy way to store the twine. This drawer has some washi tape in it, as well as just some, you know, scrap papers to take notes. And then I always just store all of these little, these card kit postcards in this drawer as well. And then this drawer also has some markers in it. These are all just separated by a bin here that I purchased from the container store. So here I have some metallic markers in this bin and I have some Tombow markers. Here is some Spectrum Noir sparkle pens. I do have some water brush pens in here. I have some gel pens, some more, um, some more colored pencils. And then I have my Gamsol here. So this drawer is all about coloring. So moving on up to this pegboard, this is from Ikea and I did purchase two of them. They come in various sizes. I think this is the largest size and you can also get these containers and all of these little pieces that are for this Ikea sells. And you can get gray, oh, I think there was another color. I'm almost, I'm almost thinking it was like a khaki or like a brown color, but these are all purchased separately. You can see that they come out like this and then you can put them basically anywhere you want. So these little bins are not fixed in one place. You can actually take them out and style this whole thing however you want to style it. 
So I have my glues here. I have some different tools that I need to reach for frequently. So like a dye brush or like a poker tool. So all my tools are here. And then I have in this bin just some pens and then here's some gel pens. And then here's just some a spray bottle of water and some pixie spray. And then these are just some more um, ink blending tools. These I pick it up on Amazon. And then these are just some paint brushes. And then these bins, I just have some cards on here. So some of this I just, just like to decorate. There's some little stamps up here. And then up towards the top, these have some double-sided adhesive on here. Just a card that I made. And then these are just some albums that I previously made. I just hang those up there. I have another paper trimmer. And then moving around to this side, I have some scissors. These are just some scraps of some ink blending that I did. So if I quickly need a scrap, I can grab that. I do have a book of card sketches up here, which I don't use a lot of card sketches, but I've been starting to use some in some videos. So I printed some out and I just store them in here. So if I need a card sketch, I can just quickly come here and look at these. And this little binder is the cutest little binder. This was just a little small binder that was purchased at Target. And it actually came with these little um, clear um, pages. So these are actually cut down to five by seven. So these are five by seven pages that you can just slip these in. So I just think that turned out really, really great. This binder turned out really great for this purpose. So I just store that right up there. And of course I have my Stamps of Life VIP pin. I have that there and I also have my luggage tag here. I think that is so cute. I have a couple of those and I have my crocodile hanging here. And again, just some cards that I made and then more cards. And then this is just a little decoration with some pom-poms. I have a planner up here. I have some Nuvo drops in this bin. And then in this one, I have my 3D ink from the Stamps of Life. I just have all that in a little, um, these are actually, these are actually from the Radio City Rockettes when we went last year, last, actually it was in January of 2020 when we went with the kids and brought them to the, see the Radio City Rockettes for Christmas, for Christmas show. So I just have some paper clips stored in these little bins and some 3D ink on there. And these lanyards, these are from the Scrapbook Expo. And of course I have my Stamps of Life um, lanyard with a lot of my Scrapbook Expo pins just for decoration. And then again, my Gold Club, Stamps of Life Club member. I just think that adds so much pink and nice color to the room. And then I have some of my smaller Stamps of Life ink pads stored in this Totally Tiffany bag. And I just wanna show you this real quick. Quick. my daughter drew that and colored that a few years back so I, of course I have to have that and I might as well show you this one as well this was my son he drew that in elementary school a few years back and colored that so of course as a mom you've got to have your kids artwork <laughs> hanging up and then down here I have just some backgrounds for when I take pictures of my cards so I have a lot of that in this space back over to the craft table I just turned around it's just this is what's behind me and then I have my Spellbinders Platinum Die Cutting Machine, which I have here on my table. And then I have my paper cutter. And let me tell you, I love this paper cutter. I do have a small one that you saw up on the pegboard, but I really love this one. This is a Fiskars, it's a heavy duty one, and it actually cuts my chipboard and I never have to replace the blade. So if I ever need to make an album and I need to cut chipboard, this thing will do it. So then just moving over here, this is from Michael's. Today is a good day for a good day. I thought that was really pretty. And then again, this is my husband's office space. So, well, we share the printer obviously. And then I purchased that from Pottery Barn and I just put a couple pictures of my kids. I still have to fill this up. I don't know exactly. I told my husband, I said, you can have this side for your work stuff and you can put your papers in there, but I'm gonna be using the middle for pictures. So I did put some pictures of my kids. I probably put some cards up in there. And yeah, so he gets a little bit of space. So you can see he gets a little bit of space in this office. So this is his part. And then the rest of the room is my part of the room. <laughs> And he always says to me, he says, well, it's not really my space. It's always your, it's your, it's really your space. So 
he's so sweet. Anyway, so this is my craft room tour. So I hope you like it. And if there was anything that you want to know more of, please leave me a comment down below. Have a great day, everyone. And thanks for watching. Bye-bye.